Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create an awesome sentence animation in React Native. I've already created a boilerplate using Expo. Uh, and inside the application, uh, the app.js file, I'm rendering a text animator component where I'm passing the content as a string and the style, the text style, and plus the style itself. Um, and the text animator component, it's just a dummy anim uh, component for now. And we are uh, wrapping the content, which we are passing as a prop into, into a text and also applying the styles that we are passing as, uh, as prop properties and this is the uh, output of, of this one let's create small steps right and first uh, we would like to uh, get the split the this sentence into words and we are going to create a text array here and we are going to take the content and trim it and then split it by empty space and don't forget to call super props and inside the render function instead of uh, applying uh, wrapping the whole content we are going to first uh, get this one here and inside the render we are going to iterate over the array uh, we are going to map it, so we have the word and the index and here we are going to render this text, right? Okay uh, It's going to return, sorry, all habits and This uh, text is going to have a key, which is equal to the word minus the index. And let's hit uh, let's hit save. Uh, instead of uh, this props content, we would like to show the the word itself, right? Uh, we have everything, but the problem now is that the view itself. Uh, uh, it has a flex direction of column, so instead of that, we are going to change the styles and we are going to apply styles that uh, text wrapper and this, this text wrapper is going to have flex direction, it's going to be row, uh, the flex wrap is going to be wrap and we are going to justify the content to the center. The flex, flex wrap is saying that if, if, if you feel like you don't have enough space to render it, move it to the next line. The, there is a problem with the spacing in between and in order to fix it, we are going to uh, append a space at the end of the, the word. Uh, if the um, i is uh, less than the text array length we are going to apply an empty space otherwise don't apply it and there is a problem with the i because it's index so now we've added the space in between each uh, each letter which is looking quite uh, quite nice so far so now we have um, uh, the the whole sentence it's actually it's uh, split by each word and each word is wrapped into a text now the uh, in order to animate it uh, we need to uh, go through each uh, word from from the sentence so for each and we are going to take the i for here and we are going to create uh, uh, new animated values and in order to do that we first need to 
import animated and also here we would like to create some animated values which is an empty array for now but we are going to populate it here so this animated values on position i it's going to equal a new animated value and we are going to start from zero hit save again and for each for each uh, world from this sentence we've created a new animated value which is starting from zero now we would like to uh, create also an array of animations and we would like to stagger those right so let me create an, uh, a method here called animate and we are also going to pass a two value which is going to be one by default and here uh, let me create uh, an animation animations array which is going to be again we are going to pass through the text array we are going to take the i from it and uh, we are going to return an animated timing where we would like to animate the values from that uh, from from this array which we've just created here and we would like to append some properties so first it's the two value which is going to be equal to the value that it's passed as an argument and there is a duration let's say in our case 500 it's okay now that we have the uh, animations here let me fix this one uh, that we have the animations uh, we would like to stagger them so animated stagger uh, stagger it's going to start each animation but with a delay in between uh, so we would like to say let's say 100 milliseconds in between animations and we would like to animate the animations which we just created here and then we would like to start the animation now that this method it's uh, it's created when the component it's uh, did mount we would like to animate those and here in the render to see the actual animation for each word we would like to uh, append some styles to the text and pass the object as opacity for example is going to be these animated values and by the index and hit save it's going to crash just because we forgot to wrap the text into this should be an animated text actually so you you cannot add animations if this uh, uh, this component is not an animated component let me hit refresh again and now each word from the sentence is going to be animated from opacity 0 to opacity 1 with with a delay in between animations for each uh, for each row and we can also move further and do a transform here and uh, do a translate y which is equal to this animated values by the index and now because the animated values are actually in between 0 and 1 we would like to uh, multiply those so it's an animated multiply and we would like to multiply uh, this value so animated values which in our case it's in between 0 and 1 and we would like to animate it with let's say animated value minus 2 let's say and as you can see it's like a slightly uh, slightly animated from uh, animation from bottom to top let's make this more popping up and now all all of them are moving from bottom to top with uh, uh, an opacity as well let me shrink down the number now this component is taking uh, taking a shape and uh, the sentence words are uh, the words from the sentence are animated uh, we would like to customize it in a little so I would like to pass the duration as a property and I would also like to have an uh, on finish event when the whole animation is finished so in order to do that the first thing the duration is going to be the prop duration and if we are going to the app here 
let's pass the duration which is 1000 for now and hit save again and because I would like to uh, stagger the animations based on the duration I would like to uh, say you know the duration divided by 5 so one-fifth of duration is going to be the staggering between animations and this is going to uh, be correlated based on the duration so if I'm doing let's say uh, three seconds uh, the stagger is going to wait for the, the whole animation and the last thing I've said that I would like to 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 send a callback when the whole animation is finished so I will check here if there is a on finish uh, method I'll just call this so in order to make this uh, visible on finish it can be on finish and on finish it's going to be a method which is going to call alert 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 and then I'll have uh, animation it is done and now when when the animation is going to be finished we are going to receive the callback One last thing before wrapping up the tutorial is to animate in reverse right uh, we had already created the animated API, uh, the, the animated method, and whenever this is finished, so here inside the start, let me, for the sake of this tutorial, without, I'll uh, call again this animated. Uh, if the two value is equal to zero, I'm going to say one, otherwise it's going to be zero, and I'll wait one second after the animation is finished before calling the animated. Hit save, and also increase this to be, I don't know, 500, it's okay, and also comment the unfinish method, and after one second it's going to be uh, animated. You see the animation it's uh, moving uh, from left to right and now it's also starting the animation from from the first uh, word and if you'd like to start uh, backwards when when it's going to hide the animation we can do a, a thing here and we are going to say if the two value is going to equal uh, zero uh, we would like to create the animations in reverse otherwise we are going to let the animation as they are so hit save now and now it should start backwards because we've reverted all the animated crea animations created here uh, everything is going to start from uh, uh, the tail the last bit of, of this tutorial is to move uh, the animation to the native thread and here where we declare the animated timing uh, we can do use native driver to true, set it to true and now the animation is going to uh, be uh, on the native thread and you'll get the uh, 60 fps Thank you so much guys for staying with me so long I hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button and share it uh, uh, with your friends. Um, if you would like to support me in a way or another, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash Catalin Miron and, and buy me a coffee. Uh, or if you have ideas or how to implement a particular animation, you can follow me on Twitter and send me a private message over there. I'll be more than happy to receive inspiration from you guys. So thank you so much and see you in the, uh, in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.